Stephen, uh, uh, tell us a little bit about this film, of course. Well, it's a film about uh, the Toronto streetcar, uh, but also also uh, transit around the world, electric transit. It's kind of the history of the of the trolley, tram, streetcar, light rail, if if you will. Um, and it shows the importance of of, of uh, stopping burning fossil fuels and and uh, uh, going zero emissions. And the urban environment is is uh, tricky, uh, and only really the streetcar is is uh, is a good way to get around it. So what inspired you to make this film? Well, uh, um, we wanted to tell, tell the story of the trolley, the, the kind of rise in the 19th century of how it, the trolley came back from uh, or, or was, was uh, saved the urban environment uh, from, in those days, from uh, manure. Um, and then uh, it was a very successful way of moving people around urban areas and took over all over the world. And uh, in the 60s, uh, the automobile became more and more prevalent after, this, after the Second World War. So um, it was pretty much eliminated in the, in the uh, late 50s, early 60s, in many places in the world, except Toronto. Mm -hmm. Toronto was one of the few places, in, uh, especially in North America, that kept a big system. Mm -hmm. And so it's an important story because if, you're, if we plan to go zero emissions, which we need to, urban transit is, a, is one of the problem areas and the best solution if you're using windmills, uh, solar, uh, hydro, nuclear, anything that's not fossil fuel, the best use of that is electric rail for sure by, by a huge margin. Uh, you know people talk about it, smart cars and, and batteries but they're, they're very very inefficient energy wise and hundreds of times less so than shared public transportation. When you were traveling around the world uh, uh, for this film, uh, what did you uh, perhaps learn most about uh, the streetcars in other countries or transportation in other countries, of course? Well, what, what we learned is that, is that places that did urban transit right, like beautifully, places in France, Montpellier, uh, Nice, uh, Lyon, places like that, public transit is a fantastic way to get around. And, and the, t the cities are quieter and cleaner uh, and, and typically zero emission. If, if you can get access to, you know, hydro, wind, solar, they're all zero emissions, right? So I think France uses a lot of nuclear power, but, you know, at least they're not burning fossil fuels, right, which is right. the, the main elephant in the room these days. And you uh, filmed this in IMAX? Yeah, yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's filmed in high resolution IMAX and projected on a giant screen. So it's really spectacular. And how does it feel to be here at the uh, 25th anniversary of Hot Talks to actually show your film? It's great. It's a great honor. Um, uh, IMAX is typically not included because of the cost of, of the big prints and so on. Uh, but this year we're going digital at, at the Ontario... Uh, what is it? The Ontario... I get, I get them mixed up. Cinesphere. The Cinesphere was the first IMAX, permanent IMAX theater in the world. And so they put in a new laser... A uh, very high resolution projector and beautiful 12 channel sound. So it's, a, it's actually an improvement over film. Um, and so it's a great honor to be, to be screening there.